Can you draw the structure for bromomethane or methyl bromide? I can, so why don't you come along with me? We need to know how many valence electrons these things bring. Carbon group 14 brings four valence electrons. Hydrogen first column brings one valence electron each. It's gonna be three total. And bromine as a halogen will bring seven electrons each. So let's count those out. Four for carbon, three ones for the hydrogen, and seven for the bromine. Add those up, I get 14 valence electrons. All right, we know what we're working with. I like putting the element that can make the most bonds in the center, that's carbon. Carbon can have up to four bonds. So I'm gonna put it in the center, surround it with my H's. Oh, and the BR, I'd be a fool to forget that. So it makes it bromomethane. Two, four, six, eight. I like holding the molecule together with single bonds just because it's a molecule. That accounts for eight of the total electrons and I'm only allowed to have 14 total anyways. What I do next is I fill the outer atoms as octets. Bromine doesn't always follow the octet rule. It often can have 10 or 12 or 14 electrons around it, but that's generally when it's the central atom. Here, it is going to follow the octet rule. Here's my ninth and 10th electrons, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now I'm out. I'm not allowed to put any more electrons because carbon, three hydrogens, and bromine only brings 14 total. But I'm in luck. Bromine has eight electrons around it, six dots, and then the two that are represented in this bond makes eight, yes. Carbon has eight. It has four single bonds, and each of the bonds has two. That's eight as well, that's awesome. Hydrogen's happy with single bonds, not a follower of the octet rule. This is it, this is my Lewis structure for bromomethane. Hope that was easy for you. Hope the next one is too. Good luck with your homework. Cheers.